off, I'm going to prime my eyes with the under eye concealer in the shade 91. This will just give me a nice blank base to work with and cancel out any redness. And I'm just buffing that onto my lid in a very thin layer. I'm just buffing it in circular motions, just making sure that I have the entire area covered. And then I'm going to set that with this matte cream eyeshadow, 313. This will basically just help all of the other shadows blend when you remove the tackiness of the concealer. So I'm just packing that onto my lid, as you can see, with a flat brush, just making sure the entire lid is covered. Next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the eyeshadow shade 395. This is quite a white, shimmery tone. This just gives a beautiful highlight, so I'm just packing that onto the brow bone. Then I'm going to use the shade 357, which is just a mid-tone brown, and that's going to be my transition shade, and it actually comes off a lot warmer than it looks in the pan. But using a fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff that in circular motions right into my crease and extending it outwards. Then to warm up the eye look I'm going to use this beautiful shade 335 which is just a very orange toned brown and on a smaller brush I'm going to apply that to the same area just not as far up as I just applied the transition shade just to create that blend and then I'm going to bring it down in the outer V. Next I'm going to take the shade 329 which is just a very deep matte brown and I'm going to start to buff that into the outer corner of my eye as you can see and then using the brush I used previously I'm going to buff out the edges really lightly. Then I'm just going to carve out my lid, it doesn't have to be too neat because I will be applying a pigment later but this is just to give me a nice blank space to work with. The pigment I'm going to use is the Stardust number 119. It's a beautiful bronze with an almost purpley pink iridescent to it. So what I do is I just apply Duraline to my lid and then pack the pigment right on top, really easy. Then I'm going to use the gel liner number 77. This is waterproof, smudge proof, super black. It's amazing, but I'm going to do this really off camera because you you know, you know the struggles. So moving on to the face, I'm going to use the under makeup base. I just have a little sample here, but the full size is obviously much bigger. Um, and I'm just going to apply that to my face with my fingers. For foundation, I'm using two shades of the HD 71 and 77, just because I'm between shades, so I mix a light and a dark. With this, it dries very quickly, so you want to apply it in sections. So I dot it on to one section, really buff that in in circular motions, and then apply it to each section separately. Back to the under eye concealer, shade 91. This is quite a yellow toned concealer. 95 is another really nice shade that isn't as yellow. But I'm just going to buff that onto my under eyes and I'm also just going to apply to the center of my face, my forehead, my cupid's bow, my nose, my chin and then I'm just going to blend all of that out. Next to set I'm going to use the HD Illuminizing Loose Powder in the shade 43. This is very shimmery, quite iridescent so the smallest bit you should only use with this. I'm just applying that with a fluffy brush to my under eye area and it just gives a beautiful glow. Then for the rest of my face, I'm just going to use the pressed powder in the shade 13. It's a little bit light, but it's the only one I have, so I'm working with it. But yeah, it's just a basic setting powder. For my brows, I'm using the brow gel in the shade 16. I'm not going to show you guys this in too much depth because I literally just did a whole video on my brow routine and I used this in it. So I will link that below and you can see exactly what I do to fill in my eyebrows. Then I'm just going to apply the Gel Liner 77 to my waterline. And then I'm going to take the Matte Black Eyeshadow shade 391 on a small smudger brush. I'm just going to buff that onto the lower lash line, just smudging out that gel liner I just applied. Then back to the brown 329, right on top of that. And then to blend that out, I'm going to take the warm brown 335 and just buff that out. And then I take a large fluffy brush and just make sure that all of the edges are really, really well blended. I'm taking the HD Sculpt powders in 502 and 507. One is more warm and one is more cool toned as you can see so I use these as bronzers and contours. So I like to warm up first with the more bronzed shade and then anywhere that I want a bit more definition I just go in and use the cool tone shade. 
For blusher, I'm using the shade 27. It's just a nice warm pink. It just goes really well, especially if you have more of a tan. I just apply it to my cheekbones and right down just before the apples of my cheeks. For highlight, I'm using the Sparkling Dust in the shade 2. These are beautiful, but you really, really need to use only the smallest amount of these, otherwise you will be a glitter ball. So I like to take the smallest amount and really buff it into the skin in circular motions. That way it's not sitting on the skin. And then I give myself a little milk mustache, apply it to the tip of my nose and the bridge of my nose. You know the drill. So for mascara, I'm using the Volume and Waterproof Mascara. This is just the shade black, and I'm just applying a couple of coats of that. For lips, I'm using the Soft Precision Lip Liner in the shade 63. It's a beautiful nude brown. It's one of my favorite lip liners. I am forever using this, and I'm just going to outline my lips with that and slightly overdraw them a little bit. <laughs> then for lipstick, I'm taking this matte lipstick in the shade 415. It's a quite a pinky nude. These matte lipsticks are very matte, very dry, so make sure your lips are really well moisturized. But I'm just applying that and making sure it's blended in with the lip liner. And then, because I do like it a bit more nude, this lip crayon in the shade 14 is just basically a very, very pale, pale nude, and I'm just applying that right on top, and it just gives a gorgeous ombre effect. For lashes, I'm using the 16 ends. These wouldn't be my favorite style of lashes, but they're the only ones I had. But yes, that is a finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. And don't forget to subscribe if you did. And I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.